Now, some of you might remember my video the other day on Napier Barracks and the doctors, nurses and engineers who protested outside it, complaining that breaking into a country illegally did not entitle them to a four-star hotel or instant four-bedroom home, so they could send for half of their native country to join them at our expense. Well, it seems the Penalty Camp residents near Tembe in Wales have decided to jump on the Napier Camp's bandwagon, no doubt spurred on by lefty spunk trumpets at one of the low-life charities who helped these people milk the system for all it's worth. Care for Calais is one of them, for instance, along with many others. Maybe we can send Care for Calais and all the other tosspots who support these migrants coming here the bill for them actually being here. Because reports out yesterday claim police in the Penalty Camp since September has cost more than £1 million on over 8,000 hours of police time resulting in 1,116 incidents requiring their assistance in just a few months like I said, meaning it will cost the local area millions of pounds per year to deal with this and who knows how much of the police's time. This, if you ask me, is fucking disgraceful and only compounded by these criminals walking around the local area demanding a normal life with the police letting them do it. While of course they crack down on lawful protests everywhere that actually were lawful but they've now made illegal, can you believe that? They've made protesting and free speech an illegal thing in the United Kingdom in 2021. While of course they let illegal immigrants waltz around the country unchecked by the old bill. Now personally, I think these illegal immigrants are having a fucking laugh. If you want a normal life, grab your little dinghy, head to the Dover beach that you landed on and fuck off back home. No cunt asked, wants or needs you in this country or any other country but your own. Fuck off back there and don't let the door hit you on the way out. It's pretty fucking simple, really. Even Diane Abbott could work it out using a calculator for fuck's sake. This shit really pisses me off though, them having the fucking audacity to sit there and moan. The local community suffer continuously through this situation, and I know that for a fact because viewers of the channel like Liam and Natasha send me messages about what's going on down there at Penley when something new pops up. The same is true for Napier Barracks in Kent, which like I said had the same bullshit happen the other day that spurred on these piss taking fuck pigs to do the same. But remember guys, we are out of the EU now, so this government has lost its excuses there. And yet, here we sit, with army barracks filled to the rafters with people who should not be here, complaining about living here for free with no right to fucking do so. This is a fucking clown country we live in, never forget that. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. 